Welcome back to another bikepacking adventure. Today we're going to be taking on the harsh terrain of some of Exmoor's biggest hills, wild swimming under the sun in Simmons Bath, and camping beneath the stars to watch the Drachenid meteor shower. Well, good morning. It is 7 a.m. We're off to uh, Exmoor for a little tour. Yeah, my fitness isn't the best at the moment. Might get to Simmons Bath, might end up turning back round, but yeah, set the route up, we'll get going. the setup running things a little bit different this time all of the uh the sleeping setup is on the bike so we've got the tent and um, i've got a new sleeping mat even though this one's bigger um it's almost twice as long it's actually smaller because it's, it's not a self-inflating one when you've got the self-inflating ones the foam that's on the inside that's what takes up all the space so if you spend 10 minutes just blowing up yourself you can get your sleeping pad a lot smaller we've got the pillow and the sleeping bag in that gap between the rack there but i need to uh have a peel on the trail. Got my poo stick holder up there. Or you can even dig fire pits of that. And then obviously I've got no space in my fr in my frame triangle there when I've got my drinks in. Normally in my frame bag, obviously look at the zip at the bottom, it should be the other way. My inner tube and uh, emergency spares in there, which hopefully I don't need. Uh, just cycling down this track here. As a cross pheasant got scared flew out and it flung itself into the electric wire, kind of went upside down and then it managed to take off and get a glide going. It scared the shit out of me. Oh! So one of these is going to hit me in a minute. Let's keep left. I've done um, uh, just over 20 kilometres and we're on uh, we've done 700 metres of, uh, of climbing already. We've still got about another 1,300 metres to do. Actually stopping to let the, uh, the cars pass, it's so misty. You won't be able to see me, look how quick it disappears there. I think Pinkery Pond is up this way. It doesn't look too pleasant out there, to be honest. Actually, have to use my uh, my water purification tablets for the first time. My foot just slipped on the uh, my foot just slipped on the pedal, and I've proper split my. Uh, Skin. Oh my god, that is skin, isn't it? It's kind of white. Uh, almost didn't pack my first aid kit today. I thought I'd better pack it just in case. I have to have a good look at that. Might have my lunch here. Yeah, so we're about uh, three hours in now. Prized how um, how much easier the the climbing felt. Um, I've uh, really tried to sort out the uh, the weight on the bike. So uh, so spread out through the bike, you got a nice equal weight. I think the first time I come out on the uh, on the mountain bike to Dartmoor, so much um, in the back that it was really difficult. You get to any hill, 
And you just really feel it on that rear tire. So yeah. That is Cow Castle. Yeah, Iron Age Four at the top of there. I'm gonna be swimming with that in a minute. Is it crazy? It's so clear. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> He's massive. Oh my god. I'm about to be swimming with them. It's supposed to be quite deep this section at uh, Cow's Castle. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, maybe should have uh, <laughs> maybe should have had my wetsuit on, not the tri suit. That is what you call a wild swim. <laughs> it's early October and uh, <laughs> actually surprised how not cold it is. I know it's in the sun. You get that shock when you first go in, but um, oh, that, that was, I can't wait to do that again. <laughs> I suppose we best continue with the trip, otherwise I'm just going to end up chilling here for the day, I think. It's absolutely lovely here. Yeah? I really needed this today. That swim is so refreshing. You expect to be shivering for a little while after you get out, but no. Shout out to uh, to Jim as well. Gave me a little bit of a kick up the ass, really. <laughs> I think I needed that. I was uh, in a bit of a bad way and uh, could have quite easily stayed like that and got worse. But, um, so yeah, cheers Jim for that message. It's, uh, gave me the uh, kick up the ass I needed to get out today and do this one. Yeah, I've been off my, uh, my medication for about two months now. Been on antipsychotics for about uh, well, nearly 10 years now. Yeah, coming off them was uh, was really something. I'm still, still struggling with um, insomnia uh, two months on. Some nights I just won't sleep at all. And then after like two or three nights of not sleeping, 
the next night I might get like three or four hours and then it just repeats. Well, if all goes right, we should be doing um, Withy Pool and Dolverton tomorrow. Um, I am so thirsty. All I've been thinking about is purifying water. Well, we just got to Exford. We've got, uh, we've got another 30 miles yet. Hopefully we can find a shop and resupply. Perfect. Hopefully we can get a sports drink here. It's a, a lovely little village. Well, we're five hours in and we're about to do the hardest section. We're going to be climbing up to Dunkery Beacon. Oh, it's a long way. Well, apparently my uh, my niece and her dad are out camping near Simmons Bath today. I think I've missed them by a couple of hours, but my niece absolutely loves blueberries. They're probably wishing they camped here. Look at that, Exmoor blueberries. <laughs> So we've done it, that's uh, Dunkery Beacon done. Little route down to Minehead now to resupply, then we'll be off to the campsite or wild camping, depending on how far we get. I'm about two hours um, slower than what I should have been today. The off-road sections, they were so technical. I'm probably about 30-40% of the total route completely off-road. So yeah, good job that we had the uh, the mountain bike. Well, we've got to Minehead. Um, I think it's about to be another hour, hour and a half. And we go up to Tesco, get some, get some cooking stuff for tonight. This last hour since mine has really took it out of me. I might have to, uh, I might stop here. I have to have a chocolate bar and refuel quick because I'm bonking. The tent almost set up now. Still got, um, got about another two hours till sunset. So yeah, I'm going to have a shower. Look at the legs. I proper split my, uh, my shin on the pedal. So much, uh, so much mud and clay. I'm glad to be able to sit down. I think I'm going to, um, I did actually buy some uh, some of breakfast tomorrow um, when I went into Minehead. I got some uh, some teriyaki noodles as well. This mat's gonna be so much better. It's nearly eight pm. Um, should start seeing the uh, the meteor shower now, but it's light pollution coming from the the pub and the car park, so it might not actually be able to see some. Well, it's uh, just gone 7 a.m. now. Been awake all night. Uh, yeah, everything's packed up. I've got a bit of history. Fake dinosaur and a World War II pillbox. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? There's actually quite a few of them around Devon and Exmoor. Um, I did actually want to do a bit of a historic tour, but um, stopping and filming, taking diversions and doing things, if I was, uh, yeah, I was going to be way off track. A robot.
rest on the water. Now turn left onto path. That would be freezing, imagine that. We need a thermal wetsuit in there, I think. really pissed off about last night i know it's a campsite and a pub but um even after the pub shut the uh the staff and the owners or whatever had a lock-in or and then afterwards are sitting in the uh the beer garden right on to about three o'clock in the morning this constant music so yeah that's that's the last time i ever stay at, um, at a campsite a campsite near civilization anyway Now continue straight on Vicarage Hill. Um, cafe was uh, shut in Dalton. It's a Sunday, so um, absolutely dying for some hot food. Got a jumbo sausage roll and got some bits for later. My legs are really suffering from all the hills yesterday, so uh, I'm going to adjust the route a little bit, take a bit of an easier route. Yeah, I'm going to have this and we'll get back on the route. Yes, yeah, so it's quite a nasty uh, pedal scrape I got yesterday. Completely lost traction on the pedals. My foot slipped like that, went straight into the pedals raised up a little bit but yeah the main gash is on this part here and it comes quite a bit up so yeah it beats my other one by about twice as much but that was from uh mountain biking and going over the top so yeah and covered it all over knees shins them mountains in the background surely they can't be dark mark isn't it i think i'm i'm kind of on the uh the very south side of exmoor really high up at the moment so uh yeah, just behind that wind farm is at the start of the moors near Oak Campton, maybe. an injured one here um when i come up through this way it said there's a there's a number on the stone there it said you got to give them a ring if you see one so uh i'm gonna look online if i've got data and see if i can get the number for it so i don't put any weight on it at all look yeah so at the time of recording this it's actually the uh, minehead triathlon if you've done that and you are watching this well done would have quite liked to do that myself but um yeah to come out on this trip instead my, uh, my running fitness, my swim fitness isn't the best at the moment. Yeah, we got the finishing top from last year. I did actually have my Minehead Triathlon uh, swim cap yesterday for the for the Pinkery Pond swim. Yeah, that was going to be a bit of a detour. Yeah, probably a good job he didn't do that in the end. Got to a place called Gun. I reckon that's where that guy from Tavistock lives. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, in my last mission to uh, Tavistock, some guy was uh, pretending to shoot me, got out of his car, come towards me and everything. Yeah, so hope you like that video. Cheers for watching. Um, if you want to see uh, some more, or if you want to see my old video, the, uh, the Tavistock, the, uh, the Tour of Devon video, um, click up here to watch that one. 
if you're into running and you're into reading keep an eye out for my next video because in um in a week or two i'll have something quite interesting for that one so yeah stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one